Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. To the political side, look, um, you know, politics, politics is very funny. Politics is very funny. Politics it, uh, has no morality, so to say. Has no morality. There's no morality. It doesn't have morality. Even lies is part of politics. Lying is part of politics. Lying is part of politics. And the politics take advantage of whatever situation whether a natural calamity, whether a disaster, whatever it is, politics take advantage. And at the moment, at the moment, Zambia is overly political. This country is, is, is on high temperature politically. Is on high temperature politically. And it's going to continue, especially as we go to 2021, 2026. Very soon, you can see that people are grouping, politicians are coming together, politicians are preparing themselves for the 2026. Come June, going forward, it will all be politics. Because a lot of politicians, a lot of this and that, political activities will be very high. And all these things that I'm talking about to say, no, it's not HHE, it's not this government and whatever, whatever, whatever. In politics, Mdala, it doesn't matter. It may not be HH, it may not be the government, it may not be the fault. In politics, you take advantage. You take advantage. You will blame HH for the lightning. No, there is lightning because of HH. No, there is drought because of HH. It is, that, that is politics. Unfortunately, some and some of our citizens, unfortunately, most of you are very naive. You swallow too much these political messages. The, the reasoning is very limited. Interrogating critical thinking is very rare among Zambians. You are cheated by cheap, cheap, cheap politics. And there will be a lot of cheap politics between now and 2026. A lot of cheap politics. We will have useless politicians, people who were there in power before, people who were there, people who have been part of governments starting from UNIP. We will see them coming, offering solutions. They will have solutions. They will have solutions to the drought. They will have solutions to, you know, uh, the war in Ukraine. They will have solutions to fuel. Something that is way beyond them. They will have the solutions. They will have the solutions. And I can't blame politicians. I can't blame politicians for being politicians. And UPND should also realize that, that you cannot blame politicians for being politicians. And when politicians are being politicians, they are not committing a crime. Because the tendency is that when politicians are being politicians, you want to criminalize it. You want to criminalize doing politics. But I can assure you that they, there is a time where even if you try to criminalize it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So all these problems that I'm talking about by UPND, you should be ready to defend them politically. In the political field, you should be ready. Because people will bring these challenges and they will heap them on you. You are the causers. You are, the, you, you are the people that have failed. You are the people that have brought hunger. You are the people that have brought cholera. You are the people that have brought whatever bad things that are happening to the people. 
And like I'm saying, useless politicians will be touching their chest and say, I can be your savior. I can sort out your problems. And you'll be there, yo, yo. Very naive. Very naive. I am not speaking against anyone. I'm speaking in general terms. I'm speaking in general terms. I have no problem working with anyone. I have no problem with working with anyone. The issue is, can you convince me that you have solutions to these problems that we are talking about? Can you? Of course. I am going through problems. So sometimes, because of the problems that you are going through, I mean, you would agree to work with fools even. Sometimes you agree. You know that, I mean, these are fools really. These are fools. But you agree to work with them. Just to sort out your problems. Unfortunately, my politics. It's politics. There, there is no morality. So I can assure you that during 2026 election, I will be doing politics. I will be doing, but today, today, I'm not doing politics. I'm speaking objectively as a patriotic Zambian. Patriotic Zambians. But there will come a time when I'll be doing politics. So by you PND, I'm washama. If I'll be working with the opposition, you come and hear me heaping the blame on you, even on the drought. Now we will come, and the people will be, ah, but you said that it's not their fault. Hello? My politics, unfortunately. My politics. But of course, if you are UPND, you can also work with me properly, especially that you are in power. If you can give me, you know, I can work with you, even to help you realistically, because I would want to help realistically. Not just the politics, but to help realistically. Realistically, I, that is what I would want. I would want to work with people, but to work truthfully. Not a situation whereby you want me to do some useless propaganda. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do useless propaganda. I am not going to do useless propaganda. I'm not going to, ju to join the band who are going to start talking about Edgar Lungu, what, what. I'm not going to do that. If I'm going to talk negative about Edgar Lungu, it has to be substantive. It has to be real. If I'm going to, same with my, my opposition. If I'm going to talk about Haka in the HDM, I would want to speak realistically. I don't want to blame him for something that he hasn't done wrong. I don't want to blame him. But to you, my brothers and sisters, I'm appealing to you to be critical. To be critical just because you are hungry. Just because... The fuel has gone high. Just because the bag of medium is, is gone high, it should not make you embrace even useless politicians. I am insisting useless politicians. I wish I could mention names, but this is not the time for politics. Time for politics will come when I will be mentioning some of these, some of these names, some of these useless politicians. You get excited just because this guy is saying something that you like. And you, I mean, come on, look at this guy. Who is this guy? Eh? We have seen dry bones coming to life just because things are tough. Some of these politicians are dead. They are dead or politically. They are dry bones. When I see them on TV, I look at them like dry bones. Dead. But they are reviving. They are coming to life. They are coming to life. They are coming with solutions. What solutions do you have? What solutions do you have? What solutions do you have to a number of these problems that we are talking about? Agriculture, what problems do you, what solutions do you have? What, what solutions do you have to fuel prices? What solutions do you have? But you are getting excited. Even people who are corrupt... They are corrupt themselves. You can see that they are corrupt. But they are telling you, they are coming to you to say, no, I'm going to fight corruption. How are you going to fight corruption when you are corrupt yourself? How are you going to fight that corruption? You are corruption. It, it, you are a personification of corruption. How can you come and fight the demon in you? The demon in you, how are you going to fight it? It has possessed you. You are possessed with corruption. But you want to come around and say, I'm going to fight another demon. How? How? They are 
Hey, number of them. She left off a clan of a machine. She left off a clan of a machine. For, to, for, to, for today. But there will come a time when I will be calling out some of these people. They are corrupt. And some of these people, I mean, they are part of the mess. They are part of the mess. They are part of the, the mistakes that were made in the past. Because we are here where we are because of the past. And I don't like it when you just limit the past to PF. No, the, the, the past is not PF. The past is not PF. What is happening in the minds is not PF. What is happening in the mind is not PF. Let's be real. What is happening in our agriculture is not PF. These problems we have been having from a long time. From a long time. We had four, four to five years of El Nino. You remember El Nino? During the time of the MMD. So, I mean, our problems are compounded. But, you know, we are so cheap that, you know, we, we speak from the basics. We cheat people. So, from a political point of view, be careful, my brothers and sisters. But then, I know you PND. You are in power. You are in power. And truthfully speaking, objectively speaking, as a patriotic Zambian, I tell you that I wouldn't like a government to change in 2026. Take that on record, if you like. Take that on my own record. From a patriotic point of view. But don't be surprised if I come in March 2026 and I'm saying, let them go. Because I'll be doing politics. Today I'm speaking as a patriotic Zambian. And as a patriotic Zambian, I will tell you that it is expensive to change governments. It is retrogressive to change governments every now and then. It is retrogressive. It is very expensive. It destabilizes everything. Be rest assured that you know to catch in your government if we come and change government in 2026. Believe you me, things will not you know just change there and then. No. No. There will be a lot of first expenditure that will be involved. A lot of expenditure, firing ministers, firing diplomats, firing a number of whatever, whatever in government, replacing them with whoever. It's bad. It's bad, especially when you have petty politicians. Petty politicians. You know, petty politicians who will go down to say, ah, this one. No, this one, because he's got this tribe. This tribe, we must kick him. Kick him or kick her out. Those are petty politicians. Ah, this one, this one, I saw him with Haka in the Ichirema, eh, eh, whatever, whatever. He, kick him out. Those are petty politicians. And unfortunately, there are many. So all that is an expense to government because when you fire that person, you need to replace that person, you need to pay a settlement on this one, and you need to pay, you know, a, a, a whatever compensation for that person that you have fired. It is expensive. And then let's talk about policies. Where IMF, right now, IMF, they are moving. They are progressing somewhere with other communities. They are progressing as much as things are, there is, there is a kind of stalemate. But there is some movement. When you change government, all that goes back. Renegotiations, because the person that is coming, he doesn't understand what was whatever. whatever. It is a mess. So changing government every now and then is not good for a country. As a patriotic Zambian, I will tell you this. And UPND, UPND, if they are not careful, but UPND, if they are not careful, they will go. Because they are taking it casually. They think government is theirs. Government is not for you. Government does not belong to anyone. Government belongs to the Zambian people. And if the Zambian people are not happy, they will kick you out. No matter how powerful you may be, they will kick you out. They will kick you out. No matter how powerful you may be, they will kick you out. So don't take it casually. You are taking it things too casual. You think you have arrived. You have not arrived. You are just on the way. You are just on the way. How long are you going to be on the way? It is dependent on how you play your politics. But you are, you are, so, you are so casual. And some of you even pompous. Some of you even pompous. You are even treating some of us badly. You think we are useless. You think we are useless. Some of us, I, cannot, I can tell you that. And I know for sure... Some of you, some of you, you will remember me. 
You will remember me at a critical time. Mulembo na kwati ni mpuba sana. I'm useless. You, you are in power. You have got whatever, whatever. Oh, one day you remember me. One day you remember me. Muste tausumu, mwariba Amos Chanda. Mwariba Amos Chanda. And I used to tell Amos Chanda, when I was right here, I used to talk like this. I used to talk. We, we were friends. Not I'm just saying this. I mean, Amos, we are, my, we are friends. But we had times when, we, you know, we would, we would take on each other. The one good thing that I appreciate with some of these guys is that, you know, when, when I spoke, some of them, you know, they would come around. I remember Amos Chanda visiting me in my home. You know, in my home. And some of you, you need to realize this. You need to realize this. Don't think that the power that you have is permanent. It's not permanent. It's not permanent. And some of us, we are down. You are up. If you are down, there is nowhere you can go. You are down already. But those of you who are up, you are up. What next is to go down? That is just nature. When you go up, the next thing is to go down. When you are down, the only thing that you can do is to go up or stay down. But me, I know, one day I'll be up. One day I'll be up. So are you PND? Be very careful. Don't mess around with power. Don't mess around with power. And don't treat bad people that can help you. Don't treat us, some of us, bad. We can help you. We helped you before. We have helped you before. We have helped you before. Some of you, you are where you are because we helped you. We helped you to be there where you are. But now you are there, you want to treat us bad. It is not good, oh. It is not good. It is not good. Me, no matter how much you treat me bad, I will survive. I am going through a lot of challenges, but I know my God is there. I will survive. I will survive. I can assure you, I will survive. Whatever I'm going through, I will survive. And when I survive it, I am not going to say I'm going to come for you, no. Vengeance is not mine. I'm not a vindictive person. I'm not. And I don't wish anyone bad. I don't. I don't. But I want you to know that some of you, the way you are treating me, is very bad. You have made my life hell. You have even made my marriage hell. You have made my life very, very difficult. But anyway, such is life. Such is life. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.